what got you into jujitsu? Sorry, well, first of all, can I just let you say your full name? Yeah, right now? Yeah. Matthew Menard. Matthew Menard? Yep. Okay. Um, what you got you into jujitsu? Uh, really, my career. I've always been interested in martial arts, um, but uh, I became a law enforcement officer, and then I kind of kind of steered me in that direction. I saw a utility in it. So on that and some friends that were already practicing jujitsu kind of got my foot in the door. And how long have you been doing it again? About six years now. That's quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, what, how, so you are a police officer? Correct. So do you know about the program that he's involved with? Yes. How do you, what do you, how do you feel about it? I, I fully support it. So um, I can just tell you from my experiences in jujitsu, I think when you are trained, you, there's a certain level of confidence you start to establish. So if you're out there on the streets or whatever, even if it's a non-confrontational situation, you don't have that back of your mind stress that if it becomes confrontational, you have that uh, just innate confidence that's within you. And I really think that's it's helped me a lot in my career, and I think it helps other officers as well. And how does it sort of also lend itself well to uh, not getting injured and in something like that? So if, if you're not trained, you, know, you might put yourself in a precarious situation where you could be injured. Um, training jiu-jitsu gives you a body awareness that very few people have outside of the training. Um, you, you'll, you'll know if you're in a bad situation or a good situation or how to put yourself in a better situation with the familiarity you gain from training in jiu-jitsu. And how has uh, Ben sort of been as an instructor? He's been phenomenal. Um, he, I've been with Ben ever since I started. Um, I was immediately drawn to his classes. He teaches in a very um, a fundamental manner. So it's, very, it's easy, to, easy to grasp, easy to pick up, and he's very uh, conscious and aware and, and cares about what his, his students are doing. So he, he gives a lot of effort. It's almost like you're getting one-on-one -on -one training every time you come to a class. How do you think the other officers are going to feel about having to... Uh... I think there's going to be some stage fright initially. Um, I, it took me, I pro to be completely honest, it took about a year, year and a half before somebody convinced me to walk in the door. It's, uh, it can be daunting. It's a little intimidating, you know, rolling around with people on the ground and, and going hands-on. But, I mean, I think if once the officers see the, the skills that they have um, and, and how they can develop them and they actually have to use them on the street, they're less likely to injure themselves and they're less likely to injure other people. And that's, that's, I think, a big positive for it. Because if, if you're not trained, you're more likely to use more force than necessary or accidentally use an inappropriate amount of force. Whereas this gives you that awareness and that cognizance to not do that. Um, so, finally, do you mind me asking, you don't need to answer this, you don't want to, have you ever had a situation in the police force where you did have to use jiu-jitsu? Oh, every, from, ever since I've trained, any time I've had a use of force, there's been some mechanic or some aspect of jiu-jitsu that's been involved. Just because it becomes... Uh, second nature, so to speak. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate that.